All right, so this is the first time I'm testing the entire model. Um, these are all three mirrors. They're all lined up. They're not connected yet. But uh, right now what I'm doing again is I'm just cooking the pipe a little bit more to cure the paint. And uh, it quickly crawled up to... Uh, now it's at 128 degrees Celsius. So it got there very fast. Um, it's not quite uh, noon yet. And yeah, it's a, I really like the setup. It's just angled. I just have to rotate them a little. I don't have to move anything or have a stand. It's much easier than some of the older designs I had. So rotating around the pipe is definitely an advantage. And you can just imagine a, a car here and having this as a trailer. And you park and then they fi find the sun with the sun tracking and set up. And that's actually what I'm going to be working on next is the uh, sun tracking. All right, so it's about the middle of the day. And uh, the pipe is up to 138 degrees. So that's the hottest it's been so far. Um, it's really good with just having the three mirrors heat up this pipe. Again, we're still just curing the, uh, the paint and we're still looking for the insulating glass tube. It's hard to find here. I need a high heat glass tube that I can put over this. And then I'll just test first with stale air. So trapped air to create a um, cushion. And then I'm going to try and create a vacuum to insulate even better and it should get a lot hotter. So this is just a short video to show how I covered the um, model solar powered mirror with tinfoil. So this is the easiest uh, mirror I've found for uh, solar thermal. I will be looking at a couple other mirrors, but for now I'm going to test with the uh, tinfoil. So there's still some parts missing. First of all, I cut a piece of tinfoil that is going to fit for a section. So I put the tinfoil just over the area that I want so I can mark it. And I take my glue. Right now I'm using wood glue, but I've also used uh, white glue before. Um, I'm just trying wood glue for the first time. And then you just make a little dab of glue on the corner. So now you know the size of the piece. So you can put glue there. And also you want to make sure there's little lines in the tinfoil that go this way. You want to make sure they're going this way so that they spread out the light across um, the, the pipe. If you put it the other way, it'll go up and down. So some of it will miss the pipe. Then you make a thin wavy line of glue and you spread it out with a spreader like this. So you want it nice and thin. Um, don't want it too thick. And actually, I'm just using a piece of a cereal box that I folded over to spread it. I just spread it out like that. So then I just spread this piece over the glue that I put down. And I started on one end and then I moved over, trying to keep it as straight as possible without um, having any bumps.